Hawaii's congressional leaders tell us they're looking forward to working with the new president and the new vice president. That includes Congressman Kai Kahele. He was at yesterday's inauguration ceremony and now joins us live from Washington, D.C. with more. Good morning to you, Congressman. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for joining us. Now, it's been only, what, two and a half weeks since you were officially sworn in, and then you were there for the inauguration ceremony yesterday. We all saw it on TV, but how was it being there? It was cold. Uh, at the same time, it was exciting. Uh, my wife, Marie, and I both attended. Uh, it, was, it was history, and, and we had an opportunity to see that. It was a very exciting day. It was an honor to witness and celebrate the inauguration of our 46th president and to also witness history as Vice President Kamala Harris um, took the office, national office yesterday. It was, it was a great day and I'm very hopeful uh, for this opportunity uh, for our country to rebuild after four very difficult years. There was also a lot of National Guard troops there. You said you felt very safe yesterday. I did and it was proud to see uh, my Brothers and sisters in arms, you know, I'm in the National Guard as well. So to see thousands of National Guardsmen from all across the state, uh, all across the country, and to see Hawaii's Army and Air National Guard there um, was, was truly, um, um, you know, just very, very proud. And uh, it was safe. I, I would argue to say yesterday was the safest place on the planet to be. Uh, and, um, you know, for myself and all the other dignitaries there and the members of, of Congress that attended, we all felt very safe and we're uh, deeply appreciative uh, for, for their efforts. We're going to get a chance to meet uh, some of the Hawaii Army National Guardsmen this afternoon, um, all of the members of Hawaii's delegation, Senator Schatz and Hirono and Congressman Case and I will join um, to meet them and thank them personally. And we also, we also want to mahalo their families who on very, very short notice had to um, uh, send their um, their family members to Washington, D.C. to protect the inauguration of our nation's capital. We, we very much appreciate them as well. We do appreciate all of them. We thank them for their service. Um, yesterday, there were so many festivities, so many tributes, speeches, a lot of dignitaries. For you, what was the most memorable moment? You know, I think... Uh, just being there with my wife, watching um, Vice President Harris take the oath of office. You know, we have three young daughters together and to get an opportunity to, to sit down with them and, and to show them that anything is possible. You can even be Vice President of the United States uh, was something very, very special. And, you know, we, we were um, just honored to be there and to share that. And I think that was, that was very, uh, very um, special moment for both of us. Now, you also brought a little piece of home with you. Can you tell us more about that? Well, you know, we weren't sure how long the inauguration was going to be. At, at, at one point, they were, they were saying you were going to have to stay out for three to four hours. So, you know, we, the temperatures were supposed to be down in 19 degrees. So, of course, we, we layered up. We had uh, heat packs, and we were prepared to be out in the cold. At the same time, we also... Uh, uh, just in case we were going to get hungry, we wanted to, to bring a little bit of snacks. And so when we thought about what we wanted to bring, we also thought uh, adding a little bit of Hawaii to it uh, would be special. So we made Spam Musubi and uh, we brought it with us. Fortunately, the uh, Secret Service, uh, you know, they made it through uh, the metal detector and, uh, and, and, and we brought it to inauguration. And uh, this is just a, a little bit of local local Hawaii style that uh, might have been the first time Spam Musubi uh, has ever been publicly documented at a presidential inauguration. And so I was happy to, to bring a little bit of Hawaii. And, uh, you know, if, if, if you're from Hawaii, you know what the Spam Musubi looks like. So that was great. Oh, and you know that it's going to be filling. It's going to last you through an entire ceremony. Spam Musubi yesterday, and what's next for you to kind of sneak in? You know, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, there's a lot of healing for our country, a lot of healing for Hawaii. COVID-19 obviously is, is critical. President Biden already started uh, issuing emergency um, orders uh, to deal with the pandemic. Our economy is in deep trouble. We still have people in Hawaii and all over the country who need help. So I'm immediately looking to how can we rebuild this country 
um, and, and get our country healthy again, get our people back to work, get our kids back in school. You know, President Biden talked about reopening schools within the first 100 days. That's really important to me and to families all across Hawaii who have young children and, and kids that have been out of school since last March. Almost, it's incomparable to e even imagine that it's been uh, that long. And so healing our country, getting our economy going again is, is really important to uh, your delegation. And, um, you know, we, we're starting today. We're working today. And because you are, we know that we have to let you go. You have a packed agenda, but we thank you so much for joining us this morning and for your time. Thank you so much, Congressman Kahele, for joining us live from D.C. You take care. You stay warm out there. Okay, mahalo. Aloha, Hawaii. Have a great day.